This has been quite the week for electric trucks. If you've been watching YouTube, you know that Hoovy bought a Lightning and then tried to tow with it, and then Alex Jones used it to prove that electric trucks are no good. In fact, this very truck got used by Fox News when we did a charging test to poke fun at President Biden. So let's, in this video, put all that aside and answer a very simple question. Can an electric truck be used as a truck? Can you tow and haul with it? And so what we're going to do with this truck is we're going to go try to pick up a Polaris side-by-side -side and bring it to our ranch. Now that's a 130 mile trip between getting the trailer, getting the Polaris, bringing it back to the ranch and coming back here. So we're gonna find out if not only can it be used to tow, but how much power and range will it have left when we get back here. So come on inside, let's see how much power we've got and how much range we have. So I charged the truck up overnight. Yes, it didn't take four days because I was using a level two charger. And right now the truck is at 99% uh, percent state of charge. And let's see how much range that gives us. But keep in mind, that's not towing. So let's start it up and it'll tell us the range. There we go. Here's our range, 368 miles of range. Now the Hummer EV is rated by GMC to tow 7,500 pounds. Uh, our trailer weighs 3,000, and I'm suspecting that that uh, Polaris 1000 XP Troy Lee design that we're picking up, which is a pretty badass side-by-side, uh, -side, is going to weigh, I don't know, probably around 2,000 pounds-ish, maybe a little bit less. Uh, so in all, we're going to be uh, towing about 5,000 pounds over, you know, about 130 miles. So th the answer that we're hoping to get to in this video is can an electric truck do that and will there be enough range at the end of this day to actually drive it back home so we're starting with 368 miles of range a battery at 99 percent uh, and let's take a ride to the ranch and let's go pick up our trailer all right so we made it to the ranch it was about 25 miles or so uh, the truck says that we used uh, 15 kilowatts of energy and uh, luckily andre and our man david are here working on the truck uh, so let's see what they're doing actually they're working on the trailer andre's working on the truck because uh david apparently you blew what are you guys doing you just blew well, his... we were welding with andre's truck which should do it just fine yeah but we just melted his truck down no i just repower restarted it it's back online. Oh, good. Can you turn down your heat? Well, no, I need it as hot as, hot as it'll go because no, no, the you... power on the power... Okay, just so you guys know, the power on the power boost is not like coming out of your outlet at home. Now, I know it'll run a lot of things, but you have to turn your welder all the way up to weld. Uh, I don't know why. But, but it's blowing the breakers and it's, it told me to go to the dealership to service my truck now. Now keep in mind, Andre's truck is not electric. <laughs> it's a hybrid. <laughs> it's a hybrid with Ford's onboard power. And David, what are you welding on our trailer? What's what, what you fixing? Well, yeah, the ramp uh, uh, compartment broke here and here, and your ramp was like dangling behind it. <laughs> All right. So he's uh, he's fixing our trailer so that uh, we can actually throw a ramp inside of it instead of putting it in the bed of the truck. And is you are you have to go to the dealer? Or are you okay? I, I just restarted. It's okay now. Okay. So you you, you cycled it. He's doing it again. Well, well that's what welders do. <laughs> 3,000 watts. 3,000 watts. That's a lot of power he's pulling. All right, so once David's done, we're going to hook up the trailer, and then we're going to go get the side-by-side. Sorry, don't use that. <laughs> what did you do, Andre? I said the F word. We can beep it out in okay. post. I'm sorry, because he blew the breaker on my truck for the third time. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently that onboard power is not meant for... Uh, for onboarding. For, for welding. For welding. <laughs> it's good for barbecuing. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe light, but apparently heavy welding is not what it's good for. Okay. You see the rear wheel steer on this? pretty badass huh yeah it helps with towing right yeah, yeah it helps with everything so this is the first tow this is so our first tow you're yeah, right yeah yeah it's the first tow okay 
with our own truck. Now we did a video where we towed with it, comparing it to a Lightning, but that, that was, was GM's truck. Yeah, that this, was this, GM's. Is, this is our truck. Okay, so let's get this going. We got a Gen Y hitch, really solid, heavy duty. And by the way, Andre, uh, this video uh, is a shout out uh, to the Dumb Friends League uh, Jason, who let us buy this truck uh, yes. from his reservation, uh, we said that we would help a good charity. So if you love dogs, you just got a new dog. Yeah, I have a puppy. He's eight months old. Yeah. So the Dumb Friendly help, uh, yeah. helps, you know, put dogs together with owners. It's a really great charity. Check him out by clicking on the link below. So uh, I don't want to hook this up till he's done welding. <laughs> I think that... Hey, why are you wearing my shoes? I I brought sandals today. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see the forecast. <laughs> so you told you where are you, where are your cowboy boots? Why did uh, you put in the in the office? They're not here. No, they're in the office. <laughs> you stole my shoes. Okay. All right. Well, that's when we roll here at Tumbleweed. <laughs> we borrow each other's boots, <laughs> and they're all muddy. <laughs> Thanks, Andre. That's like your nose. <laughs> is my nose muddy? Just a little bit. <laughs> I, my nose is leaking right now. All right, little passenger. Good, perfect. A little more. Another inch, couple of inches. Stop. Like a glove. So you can add a new trailer here. So we're gonna add a nail. Trailer, trailer name is Iron Bull. Uh, where's my I? JKL. Where's I? Oh, oh, there we go. I, oh, you gotta delete first. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, look at this flat. Oh, do we? Do, oh, we we go back. I think yeah. You gotta go back. Okay, let's try again. All right. Add new trailer. Back. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Add new trailer, <laughs> and then you wanna that one, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, let's do iron bull. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's a flat trailer. Uh, done. Iron bull. Is that all? No issues found. Lights. Make sure that works. All right. No issues found. Start light test. How cool is that? And it's the vehicle. Let's see if that all does it. Oh yeah, look at that. Distance. What? Look at that. It's a, it's a light test. Oh, it's doing lights. Yeah. That's clever. So look at the truck. That so is clever. Yeah. Brake lights. Yeah, it, it's going through and cycling. Left blinker. Right blinker. Hey, it's all working. And it all does it automatically. Nice. Nice. This part robot. Yes. <laughs> that truck's a robot. I love technology when it works. I don't. Not even when it works. I hate technology. I like old crank windows, and I like having to like do the blinker myself. <laughs> We made it here to the uh, Sun Motorsports. Sun Enterprises. Sun Enterprises. Sorry, Sun. Didn't mean to get that. Didn't mean to get that wrong. And let's look at the numbers. Uh, let's see if this is. Uh, so as you can tell, we've driven another 42 miles. We used 32 kilowatt hours. A total of 65 miles. Uh, now we're averaging 1.3. Uh, miles per kilowatt hour, which is pretty abysmal from an electric uh, vehicle standpoint, but we are towing uh, And so let's load up uh, this badass side-by-side -side and uh, Hopefully uh, take it back to the ranch. All right, there you have it. We've got the uh, Machine loaded on the general uh, the Troy Lee design one at that so 3,000 pound trailer just google this It's 1700 pounds. So we're right around 5,000 pounds of weight which is, you know, not a huge amount, but not an insignificant amount. When you think about it, like uh, most crossovers that are a little bit beefy can tow up to about 5,000 pounds. So 
Supra there. Uh, the truck, like I said, can do seven and a half. Uh, so, uh, you know, aerodynamically, it uh, doesn't have a windshield, but it's still pretty tall. We found that aero when towing really does affect range. Uh, but let's strap her down uh, and uh, yeah, get it back to the ranch so we can actually do a test of this machine. Uh, but uh, yeah. We're about halfway, we've done about 70 miles, so it's gonna be about 120, 130 miles round trip. You know, which is a, you know, pretty good ways on the regular day of driving. With electric vehicles, the way you measure fuel economy is how many uh, miles per kilowatt hour you're getting. Um, kind of like miles per gallon, except miles per kilowatt hour. Now this truck has about a 210 kilowatt hour battery. So if we were getting, this is pretty straight math, if we were getting one mile per kilowatt hour, then we could go 210 miles. And right now we are down to 1.3 miles per kilowatt hour. So we're still above the one mile per kilowatt hour level. Uh, so I think we've got plenty of range. If you look right here, it doesn't exactly tell you how much percentage of battery you have left, but it says 272 miles. And that's a guesstimate of well, that number changes based on you know what you're towing and how fast you're driving so i think that's being very optimistic but you know according to this i've probably got about 70 percent of the battery still left and uh, we can see that if we turn it off but i don't want to do that right now uh, so so far i gotta say it's been a very comfortable truck uh, the other great thing is it's got a thousand horsepower so yeah i mean it doesn't even feel that side by side behind me uh, it's like it's not even there uh, and uh, it's a very comfortable towing rig actually. I, I find it to be um, a little bit more chill. Uh, and I know if you love like that deep exhaust note, like we have a Ram 2500 Cummins and there's something really um, special when you hook a trailer up to it and all of a sudden that Cummins comes to life. Uh, but there's something very special about this. Uh, it's kind of like left brain versus right brain, right? One is more emotional and one is more kind of intellectual. They're not better or worse, they're just different. We're back at the ranch. We've gone 108 miles. Now we're down to 1.1 miles per kilowatt hour. We used uh, about 20 miles, 23 kilowatts of energy that time. And it's kind of interesting. The climate control is 1%. Uh, the rest is pretty much just driving uh, and so so far so good we still have at least uh, well let's see hold on I'll, I'll turn this off and I'll tell me what percentage of battery I have left come on you can do it you can do it come on come on you have to open the door there you go 56% of the battery left 184 miles of range all right well let's unload the side by side and go back uh, to the office and see how much power we've used when we're done with this trip. All right, so uh, the boys have been busy working at the ranch while we were picking up the side-by-side. -side. Uh, we brought them some uh, Popeye's chicken because they're putting in a sign for our new off-road course. Now I gotta say, as a tow truck, this thing is absolutely fine. Uh, you can't feel the load behind it and uh, you know, the air suspension levels it off. It's everything you'd want, except of course for those mirrors. They're big, but they're not big enough. But let's see what the boys have been up to. Let's take a ride down there and let's bring them some chicken. All right, let's try this thing out. So this is a kind of a sport utility. So this is a sport utility. Uh, basically, it's kind of a cross between a sport side-by-side -side and one like the mule, which is, you know, just a pure utility. So it's supposed to be fun, but then it can be used to carry things like Popeye's chicken and the boys. So let's try it out. Well, 
we built a gate to the new world. Onyx off-road trail at Tumbleweed Ranch. You know, uh, Onyx is our title sponsor for this entire course. What we've done uh, is we've built um, a gateway to the pit, which we love to call Andre's Pit. <laughs> but not, not just that, there's also the hard course right there in the creek. Where's the sign? Uh, it's not up yet. Okay, <laughs> all right. We'll come back later when the sign's up there, but thanks to our friends in Onyx. Uh, we're now uh, gonna be officially uh, running this as an Onyx off-road course. How cool is that, boys? Hey, I brought you chicken. Oh, great. I'm gonna make sure it's level. <laughs> I don't wanna do it again. I gotta say, David, I'm very uh, much impressed with your handiwork. Now imagine there'd be a sign hanging there that's all metal uh, that says Onyx Off-Road. Uh, how hard was it to get the uh, uh, post? post? Yeah, yeah. Oh, how, it was easy. Yeah? With that skid steer. Just yeah. And uh, well, I think maybe... He's over uh, simplifying this. Yeah, he's think, over simplifying this. Well, Andre had to do a little shovel work. But okay. Think about cutting these at an angle just for a little artistic. Yeah, I think that would look nice. Artistic, yeah. 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 I, think that's okay. a, yeah I think that would look really nice. Okay. Yeah. And Roman, do you see this copper? Yeah. These are all telephone poles. I know they're telephone. So we're grounded. Yeah, in case so, the lightning strikes. So if, in case lightning strikes it, we're grounded straight well, to the well, ground. Well, no, this part's grounded. Oh. <laughs> well, and if he strikes right there, we're okay. We're okay, yeah. <laughs> I think it was, it's a sign. Every one of them has a ground rod on them. So I think we're good. All right, well, boys, you want some chicken? Yes! Yeah. All right, let's get some chicken. Hey, Andre, yeah. you want to try the side-by-side -side through your pit? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's, whoa, that looks nice. Uh, that oh. looks nice. That's some nice grass. I think it'll be too easy on my pit. I think it might be too easy. Yeah. Hey, we'll come back. We'll have an off proper off road test of that once we get uh, everything buttoned down here. All right, let's take it out to home mode. Uh, highway, highway, highway. I think that's the wrong way. Highway. There we go. All right. Uh, let's head back and then wrap up this video and see exactly how much uh, power we used and how far we got. All right, let's look at the numbers. We'll go to energy use here, energy use. So most of the energy uh, went to driving, only 2% went to the climate control. We went exactly 132 miles and uh, went 1.2 miles per kilowatt hour. Let me hop outside and give you the most important number. Actually numbers. Look, I get it. No one's gonna use a $115,000 truck as a work truck. But then again, if you wanted to use it as such, you could. Now keep in mind that the original Hummer was a military vehicle. And then of course the first H2 was just a crazy, big shouldered, square jawed, like the guy in the gym, you know, who does testosterone and then lifts heavy weights. And then, you know, that's what this is about really. It's about being kind of the biggest, baddest, boldest vehicle in town. But in this video, I think we showed that uh, it actually works as a tow truck, well, at least a truck that's towing stuff, uh, and the most important number, which I think is going to convince some people that maybe electric trucks aren't all that crazy, is that we used about half the battery uh, to do today's 132 miles. Now, I charge it up at home, um, and at home I'm paying 17 cents a kilowatt hour, so figure half a 200 kilowatt hour battery, I spent about $17 getting the side-by-side -side to the ranch, and that's a number that even in a $115,000 truck makes sense. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Ciao.